there! It's me, Stocky, and uh, if you hear loud, obnoxious crunching in the background, uh, that's my cat, Casserole. He's uh, currently indulging in some dry food at this beautiful hour, uh, with no consideration with how I feel about it. Maybe let's... Maybe a little... I can stay up a little bit, pull that down. There we go. Mute Taylor, mute Elias, mute Extras, no! Mute no one, everyone has a voice. But hey, welcome to the Groom of Gallagher Mansion. And when I opened this up, a bunch of warnings popped up that it was an 18 plus game. And I kind of glazed over that because I was, I was like, I'm a fucking adult. I know what sex is. I've, I've seen grosser shit. But one of like the trigger warnings was divorce. <laughs> So, um, if divorce is upsetting to you, uh, probably, uh, probably skip this one. But hey, let's start. What we got here? Ooh. The stories I've heard about the old Gallagher mansion. The tales and whispers and rumors and that one Yelp review. Home to decadence and luxury in the days of yore, now abandoned out of fear and left to rot. The obscufated photos, the promise of lost inheritance. A history stained by misfortune, blood, split in greed and ambition. None of them have done this place justice. Quite the opposite, in fact. They all made it sound much more exciting. A quick look at Gallagher Mansion it doesn't suggest anything special. It's just one of the many other ancient, abandoned, century-plus-old estates around here. I never got the hype. These decrepit old places litter this town like fallen leaves. No one has bothered to rake up. It's a spot for college dorks to drink and hope no one notices. An occasional haunted house for young adventurers. A home to a few basic ghost stories that some of the older locals take pride in. Heritage and horror and one neat package. You'd never notice anything extraordinary just by looking at it. Sure, close to midnight, an eerie old mansion far off the main road will spook you well enough. Especially if you're... alone. Luckily, I'm neither of those things. Well, technically I am alone, but not by myself. I fondle the phone. Don't, don't fondle your phone. In my hands for comfort while trying to avoid the thorns of the rose. No need to prick myself just yet, according to Taylor. Gallagher Mansion is abandoned. It's been abandoned for most of its... I've, I'm already possessed! Gallagher Mansion is abandoned. It's been abandoned for most of its existence. So why does it look like a pile of splinters? Why are the grounds not overgrown with weeds and vines and poison ivy? It's called community service. Locals come out to keep this beautiful piece of history nice and clean. Team, do you copy? What's the situation on the field? Over. Uh, I got your 420, Taylor. We are at Gallagher Mansion. Uh, wondering why the yard's not gross. Over. Doing fine, Taylor. In fact, I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping for something... More than a light breeze, maybe darker and stormier night to really set the mood. There's a severe lack of rain and black cats. I need something spooky. Dot dot dot. Over. <laughs> <laughs> Don't jinx yourself now, buddy. Optimal weather conditions will make the mission easier for you and me both. Over. You know, I don't need to, you don't need to say over when we're on a phone call, right? We can both talk and hear each other at the same time. Over. A pause. I can almost feel Taylor's pout on the other side of the line. I'm serious, though. As f So far, this may as well be an evening stroll. Keep your guard up! If my sources are accurate, I'm like 90% confident we'll find something in this place. Yeah, we'll find tetanus. That's what we're gonna find. And I don't think I've had all my shots. The voice in my ear is Taylor Potts, my longtime dorm bestie at Zephyr University and president of the Ecologist Occult History and Science Sciences Investigation Club, aka the O H the O Sick burr, 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 burr. How come my college never had like an occult history club? Like we never had that. Meanwhile, there's me, the vice president. 
if only because I'm the only ever member who constantly shows up for the meetings, and that's mostly because I feel bad for Taylor putting all this work for a club. That's why I'm here tonight, of course. Why well, I'm at the steps of Gallagher Mansion, dressed in some very uncomfortable nines, of a desperate ghost hunter walking me through a desperate plan. Listen, the college is going to revoke our funding unless we prove that we're just not sitting in, like, a closet room smoking weed. Long story short, the student union is a meeting away from... <laughs> I was right. I was right. Long story short, the student union is in a meeting away is a meeting away from dropping support for the OSIC. We've had trouble retaining membership for a while now, and the faculty we use facility we use for our meetings is utterly wasted on the two of us. They want that closet back. Their words, not mine. <laughs> what do you mean you're done funding the club? The OHSIC is an incredibly important resource for students to explore their spirituality, their heritage. Their culture! I'm sorry, their spirituality? Also, please do not kick me. <laughs> Listen, Mr. Potts. I've pulled enough strings letting you have the club for so long in the first place. But I can't defend you when we're not seeing results. <laughs> I know storytelling. <laughs> you still have a freaking anime club! All they do is watch movies <laughs> and spend money on imported snacks! <laughs> It's gotta be violating some kind of rule about appropriating funds or something! Oh, that, that just got a little too real! First of all, it's the Japanese Culture and Heritage Club. Secondly, they actually retain regular members, as do many other clubs. First of all, it's the Japanese oh. Culture and Heritage Club. Secondly, they actually retain regular members, as do many other clubs. If you can't engage with the students of this university, you're not really providing anything of value. If you're not pulling in the cash, you better get out your ass. Space is a premium, too. You know that everyone on campus is going gaga for that newly proposed juggling club, and they'd appreciate a room that's barely being used as it is. Juggling club? I would love to learn to juggle. Fuck this shit. The juggling club? The juggling club? You can't do that to us! Calm down, Dipper Pines. This voice acting is phenomenal so far. I think it's the juggling club part that's gotten to him the most. Taylor's logic? Clowns juggle things. Clowns are scary and evil. Therefore, the juggling club by default is scary and evil. Ares, I see you sneaking into my room. Get out. <laughs> Ares. A stern, no dirty, stinky boys allowed rule. Sorry, let me. I have to like just lean over and shut my door. My dog Aries thinks that he can just sneak into the room whenever I'm not looking, and he's not allowed in here. There's got to be another way. Please, what do you need us to do to save the club? Uh, well. A lot of things you're not gonna like. All you need is a few more members. Doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you can show us that the OSICO is still relevant to the student body. No, it's O- it's O sick. O H S I C. O sick. <sighs> mm-hmm. Yes, that. Oh, poor Taylor. Pat Pat. Poor Taylor. And that's how it went down yesterday morning, according to Taylor. Later that afternoon, before I could start going through the motions for our meeting agenda, which was rolling that fat, fat blunt and prepping the bong. Oh. Okay, okay, here's the plan. You know that old house way out there on the corner of town? Yeah. That old Gallagher place where all those deaths and murders happened ages ago? Yeah, the one that's been on Zillow for uh, several months. Yeah, they still haven't sold it. We've never checked it out! We thought it was too boring, too vanilla! But no! Vanilla? Maybe we made a mistake trying to find new things when we've left the biggest stone in town unturned. Are you the one that's, like, weeding the front yard? Okay, but has anything changed about the place since last time we looked at it? Tomorrow, we're gonna investigate the old dump. I just know there's something we can find in there! It's I, our last hope! Again, we're gonna find tetanus, Taylor, please! I, I, you know I haven't had my shots! Vice Prez, tonight we're hitting the books! Research like your life depends on it! I have a name! <laughs> and 
and by we're investigating, Taylor means that I go in there in person by myself while he provides intel via earpiece back at HQ, which is what he calls his dirty, gross car. Fuck. Uh I know it's storytelling. I'm, I swear to God, I have not played this game before. I just booted it up. Oh, HQ is Taylor's car, of course. Maybe we could paint it like the Ecto-1 and get a few new members that way. Hey, honestly. Uh, status? You've been a little quiet. Over. Yeah, no, just contemplating my life choices, Taylor. Over. Back to the overfang, huh? Oh, uh, I'm doing... Okay, just thinking. Don't get cold feet now, buddy. We need you now more than ever. Are, are you sure we just can't convert this club to, like, you know, a regular local history club? Like, you know, we just... You've dealt with the paranormal before, and you've rocked their world! Are you worried about your lines? No, not, listen, between, like, smudging some sage at my aunt's house, I have not had a paranormal experience in my life. No, I've got the script down all right, though. My tuxedo is a little hard to breathe in. Hmm, I feel like this is like, do you want to be boy, girl, or sort of gender neutral? I'm tripping on my gown, dude. <laughs> Well, I'm worrying on the tripping on my gown. Can I at least take my heels off, roll the skirt up a few inches? And do I have to do the veil thing? Is this the corpse bride? I love that story. Over. Sorry, no can do. You've gotta look the part for when you fall into the cold, dead arms of Elias Gallagher. Over. Are you pimping me out? Understood, I'll look classically ravishing as possible. Over. But my mom does need this wedding dress back before 12 p.m. over. As I say that, I quietly adjust my outfit anyway. Taylor can't see me over the earpiece anyway. I might as well be comfortable. Maybe even a little disheveled. As befits someone of my sorrowful tale. I'm at the door. How's the rose? Looking rosy. Immaculate. Then go for it, buddy. You're about to change our lives. <laughs> I'm telling you, can we just focus on our majors? <laughs> Can I ask you one more question before I start the mission? Shoot. Did, like, court entertainers or whatever still exist in Victorian times? I don't really know if they did. Or why you're asking me that? Because I feel like a fucking clown. <laughs> I'm just saying, what if Elias Gallagher isn't the only ghost left in this mansion? What if I run into his personal clown? G -g ghost clown ghost clown <laughs> why would you even suggest such a thing Ugh, i don't want to think about it Elias gallagher just got a, like a clown juggalo in the back but i could be in danger unless maybe it was a nice clown who could cook maybe clean great sense of humor long walks on the beach quit stalling and start the mission already no fair taylor let me have my clown fantasy there goes Taylor hammering on the no fun allowed sign. Ah, oh, well. I turn my attention back to the facade of the mansion. It really does look too well maintained for an abandoned building. The cool brass handle turns and the door glides open. The first thing I notice is how stale the air tastes inside the manor. Second thing I notice is how cold it is in here compared to the light breeze outside. The atmosphere is unnaturally frigid though I, not enough to make me bail out to grab a quick jacket, as long as I'm quick. This place has seen better days. Hacker voice. I'm in. How's it looking in there, bud? Looking dirty. A lot more promising now that I'm inside, perfectly ripe for haunting, complete with a creepy portrait upstairs. In fact, you probably have an asthma attack with all this dust. Is your sixth sense tingling? Something's tingling, Taylor. Something's tingling, and I don't like it. I don't know why, but it's super cold in here. As long as I'm in and out here fast, I don't think I need to worry about it too much. That's reasonable. I think it's time to summon a ghost, then. Oh, boy. Roger that. About time that I put a si that. Huh. 
About time I put that single year of high school theater to good use. Well, here we go. Prick my finger on one of the thorns, scatter a few rose petals around, and then cue the monologue. I suck in a breath as the thorns prick my index. Change to... I can't talk. I swear, I play these wordy dating sim games to try and, like, learn to speak and read better aloud, but I always end up shitting it up. I suck in a breath as the thorn pricks my index, channeling the pain into a sufficiently hammy performance. Alas, my poor aching heart. I clutch at my chest with one hand and lay the back of the other against my forehead, crying out into the empty halls before collapsing into a heap. The noise reverberates against the walls in a cacophony of echoes. Woe is me to have been abandoned so coldly at the altar. Why did the love of my life forsake me so? Today was set to be the most joyous day of my mortal existence, and yet I feel the pull of despair into my darkest days thus. Oh, woe upon such an unfortunate soul as mine! I hear some slow clapping and a stifled guffaw from the earpiece. Taylor, shut the fuck up. You didn't come to my musical performance of Chicago, so I don't want to hear shit. All I wanted in life was to know the warmth of a lover's touch. Won't anyone take pity on me? I let loose another pathetic sound of anguish uh, while plucking off more petals and close my eyes. Uh, this is my cue to throw tomatoes at the stage, right? Taylor, shut up! <laughs> tomatoes means the performance sucks. I'm doing great, dummy. <laughs> all right, all right. Keep up the good work then, buddy old pal. I glance around my surroundings. I almost feel like the painting on the second floor is judging me silently but it must be my imagination. Listen, hey, you fucking acrylics and oils looking bitch. Don't you judge my performance. It's great. I'm talented. Why should I continue to live a life unfulfilled? I almost think it's better to sleep in eternity, dreaming forevermore, rather than to suffer this cruel reality. I pluck off the last of the rose petals and cast away the stem. The deep crimson speckles my blood glip Speckles of my blood glimmer starkly in the light of the moon, now dripping through the cobweb-covered windows. Damn, this is dramatic ass. Perhaps I shall die as I lived, alone, with not but my own sorrow. If God or some kind and gentle soul has lent me their ears to my pleas, then take me now. I lower my head and let a few more tears flow down my cheeks, the ritual now complete. Truly a riveting performance. 10 out of 10, Oscar worthy, or whatever. Taylor? Shut up! <laughs> hey, don't kill the atmosphere. Oh shit. The temperature suddenly drops to the point where it feels like my blood is freezing in my veins. Something inside my brain screams at my legs to run, but I can't move. Fucking knee length gown dress. I raise my head just in time to see the rose petals scattered across the foyer, swirling up in the air, coalescing back in onto the stem I threw at the foot of his steps. Alack, oh. alack, what blood is this which stains the stony entrance of the sepulchre? Sepulchre? Wait, who was that? What's happening over there? Taylor, Taylor, do something. Oh my god, look at them titties! They're like, BLOW! My jaw drops as the vague shape of a man materializes from the top of the staircase. My mouth is suddenly too dry to form a coherent response. BAM! Look at them titties! Yo, that snatched waist? That decapitated head? So no head? Elias Gallagher and all his undead and ethereal... Ephemeral? Ethereal. Glory is gliding down the steps towards me. We're getting corpse brided. Holy shit. Fresh blood in my esteemed estate. Stained on a red rose, no less. A tragic sight indeed. But not quite so tragic as the one who stands before me. Pray tell. Who are you? And what is your purpose here? Hi, I'm a member of the O Sick Club of the local community college. I was wondering if we could do like a sick interview or something. Uh, hey, 
What size them titties, though? Bud? Hey, bud. What's going on over there? Shut up, Taylor. I'm trying to get a ghost's digit digits. Elias Gallagher, lord of this manor. My name is... What is your name? My name is Stucky. And I am but... Someone's betrothed. I am Stucky, and I was betrothed to... One who abandoned me at the altar on the day of our wedding. With a broken heart in my chest and tears in my eyes, I sought solace in this quiet place away from the ceremony and found myself here. Oh, <laughs> you poor dear. I'm sorry, Elias, but your tibbies! What they doing, though? Hello! You and I are not at all dissimilar indeed. I am well acquainted with tragedy. And know that your wounds need tending to at once. <laughs> Can I just... Is the tending to my wounds just motorboating your chest? Tell me. Would you like to forget the cur who broke your heart? Hook, line, and sinker. Oh yes, I would not hesitate if there were such a way to ease my sorrows. But I fear it would not be a simple matter. Nonsense, my dear. I can melt away your anxiety and regrets, for it is within my power as long as you remain inside these four walls. Now, will you accept this rose, darling? Can you also, like, you know, erase student loans? Maybe a cell phone bill or two? He holds up the rose I shredded up not too long ago, the blood gone from the petals and the thorns absent from the stem. Hey! Hey, bud! What's going on there? The line's going haywire over here! Shut up, Taylor! I am about to go from broke-ass college student to hot pride of the... of the corpse! I reach towards Elias's... Elias is to take the rose from his hand and our knuckles brush against one another. His touch is deathly cold. I will. I'm requesting a report! Do you, uh, do you need backup? Answer me! Bye, Taylor! <laughs> Wonderful, darling. Eliza's hands glide up to my cheek, caressing it gently and phasing from my skin. Now even death won't do us part. Shit! Did he gank my soul out of my body? The distant cry of a carnival mystery. A long wail, a pained moan, looping through the walls and dancing on the flowers. The petals shake, stamens and pistols tremble, the perfume avalanches upon me, a billion scents strong as a forgotten sun. I'm sorry, stamens and pistols tremble? Wh I don't like that metaphor. I don't like it. You strong enough to sting my eyes. I rub my eyes and open them to a blue ceiling. What the hell, where am I? As I ask the wails and moans, shaking my bones cease. They were my breath. Just my breath. Or got my damn inhaler. And that carnival mystery? <gasps> the phone's still ringing, but it's not any of my pockets. The wedding garb was a huge mistake. No pockets. Should have sewn it in the lining. My hands scamper around the sheets of the bed, searching for my phone, trying to answer ta- Hang on, bed. My eyes remember it to look at more at the ceiling, and long with the rest of my senses waking up and processing information. Sure enough, I found myself in some ancient bedroom. I catch a flicker of light amongst the disheveled sheets and snatch it to it. My phone's screen glows like a comforting little lantern. I accept Taylor's call in. Oh, God! I've tried to, like, 50 times already since the call dropped. What the hell happened? Some bomb-ass ghost titties got me, Taylor. I won't lie, the bomb-ass ghost titties got me. I... I don't... I don't really know. Where am I? Are you still in the mansion? Taylor, don't you yell at me! You know I don't like that. Somehow I had forgotten where I was. What had happened? My cheek twinged with the memory of a chill, ethereal touch. Elias. That touch from Elias. A ghost touched me! Right? 
That actually did happen, and it wasn't just some sleep-deprived hallucination I had from all of Taylor's ramblings. Right? Hey! Hey, bud! Don't clam up now! Uh, oh, I guess I'm not outside, at least. Describe your location! Uh, blue? Blue? I'm blue, bada bee da ba ba, bada bee da ba ba, bada bee da ba. Well, everything around me is still dimly lit in a morose shade of blue, so that's a good sign. Well, good might not be the right word for it. Uh, it's a lot of blue and maybe a little cobalt here and there. And the decor looks the pu- oh, wait, hang on. This is still the inside of the mansion, right? Lights and decor are one thing, but the room sure doesn't look like it's moments from falling apart. The sheets I'm lying upon are coarse, but in perfect condition. As fresh as the day they were woven on some state-of-the-art petal loom. The mattress holds my weight with a sense of duty. The pillows couldn't be fluffier. The paint on the walls, which were peeling away from and the foyer, hold immaculately tight, with not a chip in sight. No cobwebs or holes or even a speck of dust floating in the air. The porches and painting, paintings all hang straight and uniform with gilded golden frames. The pots and vases without any cracks in their porcelain. Even the air is a far cry from moss and bird's nests, if you ignore the stale taste. And now that I'm calmer, I notice I'm wearing a pair of soft silken gloves I don't recall bringing with me when I came in. Were these a gift from Elias? Hey, hang on, look at the bedroom! FaceTime! I take a quick set of photos and upload them to Taylor. Wait! A bedroom? Yeah! <laughs> I guess. It's a lot nicer than the foyer. Nothing's falling apart, nothing's stained. It does look the part of the same house, same general decor, same blue. Huh. Maybe the door was locked and nobody got in? This place is a known party hub, after all. Maybe the co-eds and whoever else wrecked everything they could reach, but they just couldn't get into here. That seems unlikely. A century of no one visiting would do damage to a locked room. It's not like it's sealed away from the rest of the world. Unless... Was this a room? A special place for me? Hey Taylor, can I ask you for a favor? Yeah, what's up? Fucking get me out of here! Can you, like, brief me on the mission again? And honestly, hey, I think this is a good stopping place because then next episode we can get rebriefed, regriefed, and see them sick, sick ghost titties again, right? I'm looking forward to ghost titties. Are you? I hope you are. Anyway. <laughs> Bye-bye! Put a runny egg on my cat's head. Put a runny egg on my cat's head. Hey, casserole. Put a runny egg on your little head. Listen, you don't need to be gay to get that bag. You just, like... Just go for it!